Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is talk about what are the parts of a right triangle. So a right triangle is going to be any triangle that has um, one right angle. And the way that we denote the right angle is we just kind of draw a nice little square in the corner. So that's going to denote um, the right angle. All right, And you can only have one right angle in a triangle because the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So if one is 90, um, you got to have three angles. So the other two, you know, if another one's 90 degrees, then you have no more measures for anything uh, for another angle. All right, so when we're looking at an angle, especially when uh, knowing the parts, this is going to be very important for the Pythagorean theorem as well as for um, using our trig. So the main important thing that I just want to go through with this is whenever I have my angle, you can see there's an extra corner that's point out. That points to the hypotenuse, OK? Um, so that's going to point to our hypotenuse. Then these other two are what we call the legs. And they are just sides of the triangle, but we call them the legs. Now, we can actually get a little bit further into what exactly how to differentiate between the legs, depending on what angle we're talking about. So if I'm talking about this angle right over here, between the angle and your um, 90 degree angle is what we call the adjacent side. From the angle directly across from the angle, we call that the opposite side. Okay, um, So that is regards to the red angle. But if I was going to say, well, what if, I am using, what if I am using a reference as this is my angle? Well, then you can see that this leg is between the angle and the 90 degree triangle. So then this side would be called the adjacent side. And this side would be across from it, so it would be called the opposite. So it is very, very important for you to be able to designate which side is the adjacent, which side is the opposite, based on what angle you are using. But if we're looking at it you know, for purposes of the Pythagorean theorem, all we really care about is what is the hypotenuse and what are the two legs. It doesn't really matter if they're opposite or adjacent, um, adjacent or opposite. We just want to know what the legs are and the hypotenuse. But when we're moving forward with trig, it's very important to not only know the hypotenuse, but also determine, depending on which angle I'm using, which is the adjacent, which is the opposite. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you identify a right triangle. Thanks.